On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumna, Dr. Sandra Rotman, to address convocation. Good afternoon, Chancellor Cowan, President Chakma, faculty, graduates, family, and friends. It is a privilege to receive this honor. Thank you. Graduates of 2019, congratulations on your achievements. I am grateful to be part of this momentous day. The university is a special place for me. Many years ago, my late husband, Joe, received his philosophy degree here. He often said that his time at Western changed how he thought about the world. That is the gift of education. A question for you graduates. After you leave this campus with a degree in hand, how are you going to use your gift? There are infinite plans to success. Find one that speaks to you. First, define success carefully. Develop your own metrics of what a good life looks like. And be discerning about what you value. Those values will be your foundation. They will orient you and bring clarity to your decision making. I am first generation Canadian and was just a child when World War II ended. One of my early memories was of my parents helping relatives who immigrated to Canada from Europe. Displaced by years of war, they arrived with nothing. My parents shared their food and clothes and made sure our relatives were comfortable in this new, unfamiliar land. We supported them until they could support themselves. That was my first lesson in compassion, generosity, and goodwill. Or in other words, philanthropy. It also taught me the power of community. Since then, philanthropy has grown to be an important part of my life. Joe was equally committed. Like our parents before us, we had a strong desire to promote the welfare of others. But we weren't satisfied with just writing a check. We combined our education in philosophy, business, and humanities to cre create efficient and meaningful impact. And now, our children and grandchildren actively support many causes, including health care and education, both here and abroad. But philanthropy has many forms. It could mean lending your skills to a nonprofit, fighting for better programs in low income areas, or marching for action on climate change. Commitment and connection to your cause are more important than money. I want to talk to you about one program that I'm particularly proud of, RISE Asset Development, in collaboration with the Center for Addiction and Mental Health and the Rotman School of Management, RISE provides microfinancing and mentorship to entrepreneurs living with mental health and addiction challenges. In addition to low interest loans, RISE connects our clients with a mentor for business advice with health supports to create a comprehensive program that recognizes the intersection of employment, education, and mental health. One of our clients received two RISE loans Despite numerous obstacles, 
She has grown her baking hobby into a sustainable business with a storefront and three support staff, all of whom also struggle with disability. She has tremendous pride in being able to support her children and no longer relies on social assistance. This is success, and it's stories like these that continue to drive me to find answers for the inequities that are in every corner of our society. My former anthropology professor, Margaret Mead, once said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. So, find a definition of excess, success that includes community. As you well know, you're graduating at a time where there are high levels of unrest and dislocation. Long simmering issues are coming to a head. And while you did not cause these problems, it will be up to your generation to help find the solution. This may be overwhelming, but I believe disruption will lead to great opportunities. Opportunities to reorder systems and structures that are at the root of our issues. And this is where your values come in. It is said that we get the kind of society we support. So your voice should be used to promote humanistic policies, apply your talents and values to your community. Together, you can and will build a stronger and healthier world. In doing so, you will create a life that recognizes the interconnectedness of everyone and everything. Graduates, I have faith in the future because your generation is caring and engaged. You have the ability to apply imagination to intellect to solve these complex issues. All of you have the power to create a better world, and I have no doubt you're up for the task. I want to leave you with a quote from a good friend. Do good and do it well, and whatever you do, leave it better than you found it. And thank you for allowing me to celebrate with you.